of two different seasons here. You have some of the top players in the nation facing off against each other, and certainly the top players in the Patriot League here as Patriot League play begins, and that will change the season from this point onward. Yeah, their top three, it's a three-headed dragon. You have Boyle, who's seventh in the nation in goals per game, first in the Patriot League in goals per game, third in shots per game, second in points per game with 5.33. Georgia Latch, first in the Patriot League in points per game with six, second in goals per game with 3.8, third in assists, and 18th in goals per game in the NCAA. And Sydney Black, third in the Patriot League in goals per game with 3.6, tenth in assists per game, third in points per game, and first in shots per game. So they really dominate the Patriot League. Teams in the Patriot League can step up and answer that assignment. Some of those tough, gritty games come within your conference. It's not always against the top teams in the nation. We'll see if that's the case today. We talked about the three players on the attack on one end. It's Bridget Duffy, the midfielder for the Army Black Knights, who's done it all for them this season. She currently accounts for one third of their goals this season. It comes to Armstrong, who we'll see if she can, Carly Armstrong can take a little more of a step here in this game as she's had a little bit of a quieter start to the season. Julia Garayek, Allison Riley, those are the players on that end of the field. They're gonna have to get the job done if Duffy's shut down through the midfield. It completely changed the Army season. Some teams lose some bad games, but if you can defeat a team you've never defeated to inch closer to 500, I think it's a new season if you start Patri the Patriot League play. So it wipes respect, away the loss right? to Siena. Yeah, I, listen, you lose to a team like Siena, some bad losses. I think any team can recover when you defeat, defeat a team of the caliber of Loyola. Black charges in. We it's the green uniforms. We couldn't see who it was. Oh, boy, it blends in right <laughs> in that turf, doesn't it? Broom was very close to the cage and tried to adjust her hands to get that shot off, but didn't have enough leverage. Defense had an assist last week. Oh, yes. If you haven't seen it, find it on Twitter somewhere. Spence threw it downfield. <laughs> I forget who put it in from midfield. It was a full ride, I think, by Georgetown, and the ball sailed into the net. So it's not just keeping a ball out. It's helping your offense, too. On top of playing 300 minutes this season so far. He's carving up that defense like a pumpkin early, but just held on to that a little too long. Probably was looking for a better opportunity, but there's no good opportunity unless you let it go. So Army has all the soldiers back in front of Sydney Black. What footwork for anyone at home. If you want to learn the game, look at Sydney Black's footwork alone. What's just Blake don't surpass her. There? I mean, yeah. <laughs> it, it, kind of freeze the defender by moving your legs and there's a lot of stutter steps involved. I can't even keep up. You got to play that in slow motion to see all the different steps and missteps and fake steps to move the defender and find that small space. That's what great players do. They don't just react to plays. They create plays. They create openings. And even though it was a sliver, she was able to find the back of the net. Defense all game. It's only going to not only wear your team out, but it's not going to allow you to get into a flow on offense. I, I think the Black Knights are certainly coming to this game knowing who their opponent is. They lost to them last year in the Patriot League Championship game, and they know that they're undefeated. There's a lot on the table here, and they're trying to turn their season around. It starts with trying to get good looks and opportunities in the offensive end and starting to get a flow. We haven't seen them really work it around the clock. We haven't seen all the players get touches yet, especially for the starters of the Black Knights that are going to have to come through this afternoon. Latch with it. Version of energy right there, turning potential into kinetic. The save on one end translates into a goal on the other end from a player that's had a few cracks already this afternoon. Uses a low shot, gets all of it from a little bit of range. Downtown, Riley gets the Black Knights on the board. That is her 20th of the season. Save. You see how fast Black turned around that corner after a high cycle? That was incredible. Movement by Loyola Serafini coming up with a big save there, and that's a save you want to start to build confidence on. She didn't even have the ball on her netting for a second, just got that off very quickly. Incredible seeing eye in motion, just corralled the ball and let it go within seconds. Chose a spot, was in the right position, and boy, oh boy, the speed and pace of Loyola is breaking the back of Army.
this afternoon. In route to the net, was able to pop one, turn on the burners and beat a defender one-on-one. -on -one. Way to use her body and frame to move through. Her stick's going one way and another way. She's using her body and back. Listen, a defender can't do much when they're looking at the back of a player. She's able to shift more than one shimmy through, find a hole between the two defenders and score. Garayek, that's what they'll need from her for the rest of the afternoon. Number three coming up bigly with the third goal of the afternoon. I thought this afternoon we were going to see 21 as the sole creator on offense. It's really impressive to see how Riley's come into her own and score three before the half. 23 really has a nice underhand shot. She's able to pull it to about the mid torso and let it go. Gives her some angle options, it gives her the ability to shoot low, to shoot high, just on the turn of the head of the stick. So very impressive goal scoring from Riley this afternoon. Dazzling and dancing through there, finding a seam, walking through it. I mean, again, it all starts with her footwork. It's incredible to see her foot placement and how she generates incredible speed. Almost gets knocked over, a smaller frame there, but she's still able to pawn one in the back of the net, and it really has been Boyle and Black this afternoon. Blue ball game, Valentini capitalizing on a great opportunity, one-on-one, -on -one. just let it go. Barely took a step and unloaded that shot. You saw the way Loyola got the side up top at the top of the arc. We haven't seen that much from the Black Knights, and I think in doing so, they'll generate more looks and more open opportunities. Passing plays at the top of that arc. That's what they were doing. They were just dropping it off, dropping it off, looking for reverses, and it draws what well, you said. They're doing great from the free throw line, but that's the looks and the, what the chances they should be generating and trying to look for now that it's a closer game. Move the defense, get them moving, maybe get them to bite on a penalty like they just did. He has four goals today. Five! Army is within one! On the back of some Riley goals, Duffy comes through in a huge moment. You mentioned Superwoman before. She tied on the cape there. Off of again, great passing play. Peels around the corner, rips it home. Gets it quick out of the stick. And now this game's all knotted up. 12-12 in the third quarter. Completely different game than the first half here. In the Black Knights program history, scores the tying goal on last season's goaltender of the year. Incredible stuff here. Barnes certainly on fire right now, Nick. You look in the Patriot League standings, Loyola leading 6-0, undefeated. Army towards the bottom, 2-5. They're above two teams without a victory this season. We've got a stoppage. What patience there on the pass. Oh, what a <laughs> nifty goal. Oh, my. Carnival style, like a Ferris wheel, completely turned her hands like a clock to find the bottom of the net. That was fun to watch. Again, this is the women's game. There's no pocket in that stick. You have to have strong wrists and arms, and you have to do it with great speed to do what Anna Ruby just did here. Good feet here by Boyle, and look at that. Oop. It's like raking when you got to rake some leaves. Oh, my. Com Ruby. <laughs> completely turned her hands on the stick to tuck that home. This is a team that is two and five has an incredible home record under head coach Michelle Tamuro. And this afternoon they can make history if they're able to dethrone the Loyola Greyhounds who have never lost a conference game since they've entered the Patriot League. Now they were part of other things that before this. Their program's been around for a number of years now, but in Patriot League play since 2014, they have never lost a game the Army Black Knights are 0-7 against this opponent, losing in the Patriot League Championship in 2023 to them. This would be sweet revenge. What are your Again, Boyle is so good at cutting to the net, corralling the ball, and instantly in the same stroke where she's catching it, releasing it. See how she just comes down with the ball there? Right in front of the net, no defenders on, and she's so good at exposing defenses that way, using a burst of speed to get to the front of the net has all the angles and options in the world as she is head on in front of the goalkeeper in Serafini and scores to put the Greyhounds up by two, 30 seconds into the fourth quarter. 